So I'm now joined by Daniel Doherty, Managing Director of GDC Ireland Limited, based in Inishon, County Donegal. Daniel, you've launched Avoid a Housing Headache. Uh, why have you taken on the responsibility of launching a national campaign such as this? Well, basically, uh, uh, estate development and estate management are something that we've always been passionate about and cared a lot about. And it's the campaign is aimed primarily at promoting good practice within our industry. And uh, it also is in response to a lot of the negative publicity that there has been about in relation to uncompleted and unmaintained developments. And rightfully so, there are some horror stories out there. I think the consumer has become to think that all development is horror related. Uh, and our message is that it's not and that as well as the, the bad cases out there, there are some very, very good and very well completed developments around the country um, that are offering exceptionally good value at the moment and now is not a bad time to buy into those. So consumer confidence, as we know, is at an all time low in the Irish property market. So what does the 24 point checklist that you've devised do for consumer confidence? Well, hopefully it helps uh, purchasers uh, get into the market again and it helps them differentiate between what's good and bad and gives them the confidence that the decision they're making, which is a hugely important decision in anyone's life, is made uh, on the basis of good information and good practice within our industry. Obviously it should and could be aimed at more than just the property buyer. Are there other people involved in the property market going to be approached with this campaign, for example, state management companies, estate agents, um, other property development companies? Absolutely. It's uh, a document that's useful to everyone in the industry, estate agents, right through to the purchasers, the engineers and architects, the solicitors in particular that act for purchasers. Uh, right through to local authorities. I think anything that promotes good practice within our industry is going to have a positive effect.